OK, that's the K3 working as a 10 watt radio and I must admit it does work very well uh, but now I've got the 100 watt PA slab and I'm going to fit that first thing is to remove the top and the bottom covers again this is the space for the PA the shield you can see was fitted much earlier on in the build since I was building the 100 watt kit if you're building the 10 watt version and fit the PA slab later you'll have to fit the aluminium shield you can see around this area at the time that you fit the PA module at the rear panel you'll find a small link across two sets of jumper blocks this is only needed in the 10 watt version and needs to be removed when you fit the 100 watt module now this is very tight do make sure you don't bend the pins when you pull it out here you can see the main 100 watt PA slab and the control board the cooling fins are on the rear of the PA uh, module and unfortunately aren't shown in this photo first fit the control board where that link was bear in mind this can be a very tight fit and do make sure that it's right down and secured with one screw now we move on to the cooling fans on these fans you need to fit a spacer here I found that using one of the supplied allen keys to position the spacer allowed me to screw the other side in much easier than trying to do it freehand the finished fan module the two fans come with different length power leads make sure yours looks like the one in this photo now plug the fans into the main control board and follow the manual to test that they work ok you'll be powering up the K3 again for this test if all's well unplug the fans and then plug in the main PA module um, this is secured by uh, three aluminium lugs that you'll find on the shield uh, around the area and um, the PA module plugs into the two connectors on the motherboard now reconnect the fans and the 20 amp circuit breaker to the pre-wired PA modules leads here's the fan module screwed into place and here we are all fitted a couple of last views without the lid in place looks nice doesn't it now refit the lid and pair it up set a couple of menu options to turn the PA on and that's it thanks for watching my video I hope it's helped you all the best from me Paul M0BMN